Lizette, Uber also closing 45 offices around the world, including Singapore, which has served as a regional hub. Where are the majority of these cuts, these jobs, actually coming from? Right. Um, they're across the company and they're globally. They're not detailing um, what type of impact this is going to have on some of the more speculative units like, um, you know, autonomous driving and freight and um you know, some of the other ones like that. Um, regarding the offices, these are 45 offices out of hundreds that Uber has around the world. Um, most of them are smaller offices. The largest by far is the one in San Francisco, um, which is one of several offices it has. But it's part of a consolidation effort that's going to be part happening in San Francisco and also in New York to get their, uh, their workers back to one central location once they do reopen after COVID. So the spokesperson for Uber indicating that more layoffs could come, and there have been multiple reports about tension inside. Obviously, this has now become kind of a protracted process because they laid off folks earlier this month, and then there, there, everyone seemed to be bracing for more. Are there going to be more layoffs, and, and where? And are there certain departments that are yeah. living and working in fear right now? Uh, precisely. This was um, expected. It's been coming for about two weeks. They did the first round before 3,000. Now they're up to 25 percent of the workforce laid off. And, you know, uh, Dara in his email said, hey, this is, you know, basically this is the latest. But it's not necessarily the last. So I think they're creating some more wiggle room going forward if um, rides do not bounce back. Again, they did push out their profitability, um, you know, target to, to the beginning of next year. Um, and, um, you know, they're looking to continue to, to cut costs anywhere that they, that they can. Um, meanwhile, like uh, Taylor mentioned, um, you know, they are pursuing this acquisition of, of Grubhub, which is, is not anywhere near, near done. There has been no formal announcement of it yet. And, um, you know, they're, they're, they still are, are facing quite a few antitrust concerns um, in, in recent days from um, Warren and Klobuchar and others. So there's a lot going on for this company right now that still is not profitable.